Because once they've toiled in their labors, they stuff their mouths with the Indians, and they stuff them with carcasses of turkeys and wildebeest, and they celebrate. And if you know what it's like to celebrate, gobble with me. Gobble, 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 gobble. And then finally we come to the last word, rock. Because after stuffing their faces with all that turkey, they fell like rocks onto the ground. And they slept, and they slept until their bodies worked off all of that that they had eaten. Gobble with me if you know what that's like. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble with me if you know what it's like to have this turkey stay, this celebration, this gratitude. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Life and liberty. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble with me. You know what it's like to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning to go buy a electronic at 75 cents off that will be obsolete in a mere matter of months. Gobble, gobble. gobble. Thanksgiving present. Ghost of Thanksgiving present. I think I'm going to bring you back to the present. No. Come on. I see a Ghost of Thanksgiving future where you're roasted on a spit for your lack of gratitude. Awesome. triumphant turkey. You guys say hi to Tom? Hi. Well, <laughs> hey guys, how are you guys doing? Well, I think it should be obvious since it's surviving mayhem. You all refer as... Thanksgiving. 
It does appear that you stayed well away from the oven, Tom. I mean, you're very raw. I hear even your famous, you have your famous Tom's Top 5 to share with us once again. Indeed. I was thinking of going with television this year. I mean, who could resist Twin Beaks or Friday Night Thighs? Not to mention Butterball Galactica. But no, I decide there's more meat in the movies. Well, let's have it, Tom. What are your top five movies? Number five is one of my personal favorites. A swashbuckling tale of Tart Adventure, Pirates of the Cranberries. <laughs> That's an excellent choice right there, Tom. Number four, Belt <coughs> Loose. <laughs> Number three, Mr. Popper's Poultry. Number two, appropriately, Carbs. <laughs> Um, uh, and the top Thanksgiving film of 2011. Oh, the suspense is killing me. And my hand is starting to fall asleep. <laughs> A special Thanksgiving afternoon favorite, Breaking Yawn. <laughs> well, thank you, Tom, for your top five. It was very enjoyable. And now let's get back to the program. Okay, 
And I really don't have a lamp bone, but we're going to pretend this is the lamp bone. Okay? Okay, we're going to pretend that that's a lamb bone. Okay? And the bread was made so, uh, the bread was made so you could eat it quickly. Because they were celebrating God quickly taking the whole nation out of slavery. The blood of the lamb was used to mark the houses. So after they killed the lamb, the blood of it, the blood of the lamb was used um, to, what, do you know what they did with the blood? They, they put it over the door of the people's houses that God had chosen to save. And that was a pretty big reason to give God gratitude, wasn't it? For God to save your life. Wasn't that pretty, don't you think we should, they should have been thankful for that? Now, do you know how to make a fast forward sign? Say on. Do you know how to make fast forward sign? Here we go. The lights are blinking. Here we go. Kind of the same way as rewind. Do it, do it forward this time. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, that's awesome. Now we're in a different time period. We're going to be at another dinner now. And this one looks a lot like the first one that was called the Passover. It's the dinner that Jesus ate with his, anybody know? Disciples. Do you know what Jesus was going to do right after he ate with his disciples? Does anybody know? He was going to go to the cross. And let's think about this. Jesus was eating his last supper with all his disciples. And then just a few hours later, he was going to suffer and die on the cross. Was Jesus pouting? No. But that's what God was making him do. What was Jesus doing? He was giving what? He was giving thanks because he knew that God had a plan. See, it's, sometimes it's really easy to thank God when we're happy. How many of you have gotten a new toy or gotten to play with a friend or gotten to go somewhere and you say, Oh, thank you, God. That's real easy, isn't it? But what if sometimes we don't get what we want? Or God tells us no about something. Is it harder to say thank you? Sometimes that's harder to say thank you. But Jesus understood that God had a plan, so he was still saying thank you. And during this meal, Jesus changed something very important. He took the bread that was made without any yeast, and this is what he said. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He said that to his disciples, and he told them that they should eat the dinner and remember what he was going to do for them. And then he took the wine, and we have some Coke here, okay? Yeah, we're just pretending. Okay? We have some Coke here. And Jesus said, this represents my blood. And the fact that I poured my blood out for you. Jesus was telling his disciples that this dinner wasn't just to remember what God did for the nation of Israel, but it was also to remember that God wanted to save everybody from the sin, from the slavery of sin. And Jesus' blood did that on the cross. Okay, now I'm going to need everybody to fast forward again so we can get back to today. Ready? Can you do it with me? One, two, three. Awesome. Now we're back. And I don't mean just Thanksgiving. Today, we celebrate the same meal that Jesus ate with his disciples in a very special way. Have any of you ever been in like big church and you notice that they have something called communion or the Lord's Supper? And they pass around a big plate with some little bread in it. And they pass around some little cups that has grape juice in it. Well, the reason we do that is to symbolize. We're not really eating Jesus' body and we're not really drinking his blood when we do that. It's just a way to symbolize. When we take the bread and we eat the bread, that's kind of like us saying, Okay, God, we remember what you did for us on the cross. And that you're always with us. And it shows us that God was a, that God sent His Son Jesus, who was a real man. And then when we drink our grape juice, that's saying, "Okay, God, we realize that You shed Your blood for us, and we're thankful for that." So that's what the Lord's Supper means. <coughs> and when we celebrate that together, we're saying, "Thank you, God, for making the way for us to live forever." Because if we've asked Jesus into our heart, and we and we do the Lord's Supper. That's like saying God is with us all the time and we're going to live with Him. How long? Forever. Okay? And then we can thank Him for sending His Son Jesus to die on the cross for us. Okay? Alright? So let's say a prayer real quick. Okay? 
Dear God, thank you so much for allowing us to remember what you've done for us. And God, I just pray that you would help us to stop and show you that we're thankful that you love us. And we thank you for sending Jesus, your son, as a sacrifice. And God, thank you for giving us a special way to symbolize what Jesus did. And to always take the bread and the cup in remembrance of you. And um, God, we just thank you so much that you've given us um, blessings and you've given us things that we can't even imagine, Lord. And I pray that we would just take time this week to stop and thank you, Lord, for everything you do. In your name we pray. Amen. I bet you this chick is like, you got away. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Cammy, Sam, and Gwen, you're in front of this. Now sit Are we? here. We're oh. the table, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, let's just go ahead and start eating. Grab the rolls. Okay. No, 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 no. We have to pray first. We, we have to, like... Let God know that we're, we're thankful. Uh, Cammy, you first. Okay. I'll stand. Oh, okay. Thank you for striking the making volleyball team, the cheerleading team, and the swim team, and uh, thank you for my national on here, and amen. Thank you for hybrids and butterflies, and for the few turkeys that got away on Thanksgiving. Thank you, God, for Wikipedia and my honorary to the city council, and the fact that I didn't give myself any third degree burns last 4th of July, amen. All right, let's start eating. All right. Yeah, wait, 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 let me be thankful. Here, here's a roll for you. You guys yeah. gotta let me be thankful. If you must. Dear Heavenly Father, who art thou in heaven, I mean, you're here too, but you're, you're in heaven at the same time, which is kind of like you're moving back and forth really fast, which is kind of like ultimate racing, and would totally make you the speed breaker holder in the world, which is way faster than that Usain Bolt dude. I mean, you're so fast, we can't even, like, see you. Whoa, wait, what's going No, stop. You guys gotta, no. You guys gotta, like, this is about being together and we're celebrating and letting God know that we're thankful. You got your Thanksgiving. We're, we're just moving on. That's all. No, we gotta, you guys can sit down. Please. <laughs> Where were we, guys? Oh yeah, you're fast. In fact, you're so fast that uh, you give us all this good stuff that we can hardly keep track. I mean, like, those fluffy light cloud and snow. You give us air so we can run really hard, and you give us lots of food so we can have energy to run and stuff. Thank you for a bunch of older brothers that show me how not to do stuff, and thanks for Grandpa Henry, Uncle Joe, and Mrs. F, who let me hang out here when no one at home notices me. And thanks for awesome friends like Gwen, Cammy, Sam, Tyler, Gordo, Uncle Joe, Mrs. F, and Grandpa Henry, who helped me learn stuff and encouraged me even the, when I don't always get it so well. And, and thank you for you <coughs> giving us you, God. Amen. <laughs> What's going on? and get them to come. We're going to have another Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah, and Tyler and Gordo and Mrs. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she and Grandpa Henry and Uncle Joe. Yeah, we can have a Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> we can roast a real bird. Yeah, real turkey. It's the best Thanksgiving that ever table. happened. <laughs> have a toe turkey. Better table than the toe turkey. We're gonna, and then we can, then yeah, we can have a real table. They can all help Henry, too. Yeah, we're gonna, after the celebration, of course. Well, uh, yeah. Yes. I'm gonna be a serious nap. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Jeffrey. Thanks, guys, for helping me, like, figure out what guys done for me and helping. Okay? Yes, Trey? You just had a really awesome Thanksgiving? Okay. And we got lots of food, right? Yep, we do. Okay? 
And you know what? How many of you all were like many? And you had a lot of things to be thankful for. And you prayed and thanked God for all the cool stuff. You know? That's part of what we're learning this week is just being grateful for this month. Being grateful and having gratitude. And the most important person to have gratitude to towards is God. Because look at all the cool, awesome stuff He gives you. And even though we think our parents give us stuff, okay? Your parents have to get it from somewhere, okay? And we know that God provides for all of our needs, and He takes care of us. So it all comes from Him. Our bottom line, okay, is really what Thanksgiving is all about, okay? It says, take time to celebrate what God has done. Can you all say that with me? Take time to celebrate what God has done. Sometimes this time of the year we get all caught up in all the like really cool, fun, exciting things that are going on, and we forget to stop and just really celebrate all the awesome things that God has done. Let's pray, and then we're going to sing a couple of songs, okay? Jesus, we just come to you today and we do celebrate. We celebrate the fact that you take care of us in so many ways. You make sure that all of our needs are provided for and that we have what we have to, what we need and what we have to have. Lord, we just thank you so much for that. Help us to not get caught up in the season of Christmas and um, help us that we can just take some time to really think about you and all the wonderful things that you've done for us. It's just in your name we pray. Amen.